Hello everyone and welcome to another Your Next Stamp video. Today I have the new Clucking Cool stamp set. I pulled out a few other Your Next Stamp goodies like this um, gift card envelope set. I'm just not quite sure what I'm using yet, so uh, let's do this. So I've mounted a piece of Nina 110 pound cardstock into my Misty and I'm using Your Next Stamp Black Olive ink to stamp the clucking cool rooster. I'm inking him up several times because the lining of the stamp is very thick and I want it to be as thick and crisp black as possible. So I ended up stamping him a few times. That way I got a nice crisp image to color with my Copic markers. I do flip the paper around. I like to stamp two images because you know, once I get rid of this hazard, I will be able to use my Copic markers to color my rooster. So I'm using Sandy Alnock's uh, Copic hex chart to pull out some Copic markers that I think look like Foghorn Leghorn. So I did Google it. I have my image of Foghorn Leghorn there on my phone. If you don't like the coloring, you can skip ahead to three minutes and 37 seconds in this video and uh, you'll skip the coloring. If you do enjoy some Copic markers, I will have a Copic color map over on my blog so that you can pin for later reference if you need to color your chicken like Foghorn Leghorn. I always have interesting stuff over on my blog at CorinWiskman.com. You can even follow me on social media from there. But um, I'm just picking basically like primary colors. This is not super fancy. This is just red, yellow, brown, and I tried to do like a, like a white, like an off-white chicken color. Um, like what I see when I look up Foghorn Leghorn. Tim thinks it looks like the big pecker guy in Ocean City. Um, he is correct. They do have very similar characteristics. I uh, really like how he turned out. Unfortunately, when I started to color the white or the warm gray markers on my rooster, um, the arm, I started with the arm and it turned out much darker than I really wanted it to. So I left it like that because it's not too big a difference, but I did end up uh, changing the markers from the arm to the body. I left out one of the darkest warm gray markers and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. I left out that one when I started to color the body. So if you're using your Copic markers and you feel like it looks too dark, try taking away or moving down a peg in the Copic marker color chart. Um, sometimes that helps me find the perfect shade of a color that I'm trying to replicate. So you'll see that this arm looks really, he's got like a dirty arm, I guess, but I didn't like how dark it looked. So I did end up going over it with a colorless blender. Sometimes you can lift some of that ink away. And I think all in all, I mean, I used him on the finished project project, so, um, it's not too bad, but he, he's got like a little bit of a tan. Maybe he is driving in Europe and his arm is hanging out the side. That's exactly what it is. So I'm just using his coordinating die to cut him out with my die cutting machine. And once I get him all cut out, I think it turned out great. I think he looks just like Foghorn Leghorn. I think I did a great job trying to replicate him. So here I am giving myself a thumbs up. Don't worry, this happens often. I'm taking Thermoweb's purple tape and I'm using it to tape down the party window panel die by Your Next Stamp. I'm cutting this right out of my Nina card base. It's a Nina 110 pound card base. And I'm just popping out all of the bits and pieces of this die. It took some time, but I did it. There, I got it all. Whew. Once I clean up all those bits and pieces, we're going to get ready to do some heat embossing with my sentiment. So I've got the happy and birthday and the little carrot and the clucking so that it says happy clucking birthday. Let's get ready to rumble. I am taking the time to heat up my heat tool so that it's good and hot when I take it to my paper. Prepping with the EK Success Powder Tool, we are going to stamp on some Lawn Fawn Black Licorice cardstock with Versamark ink. 
Once I stamp it down, I do try to give it a fair amount of even pressure. Then we're going to use some Ranger white embossing powder to heat emboss which is awesome. If I were to give any tips on embossing, it would definitely be to make sure that your heat tool is hot. If it's not hot, then it's just gonna be blowing air on your paper and warping it and you don't want that. So once we have the heat embossed sentiment, I want to restore the black cardstock to its former glory. I'm using a Swiffer duster cloth and the oil from my hands. Things are about to get really weird up in here. Hopefully in a good way. I had to take some cough medicine, so we'll see how this card turns out. I'm using the Talk Bubble Dye from Your Next Stamp, and I'm just doing some partial die cutting, and I'm so sorry that I didn't get, get a better picture of this. It runs a little wonky when you push it through the, your die cutting machine this way, but you're only aligning the plate on the parts that you want to actually cut. So here I've cut the top of the talk bubble and I'm turning it around so that I can line up the bottom of that talk bubble and cut the bottom part of my sentiment. Because this die is not big enough for the entire sentiment, this is what I have to do in order to use it to get the same effect. So I'm lining up the plates just on that bottom cutting line halfway up the die and that's how I run it through the machine. And it's a little hard to run it through the machine. It's a little wonky, okay? So you have to like give it a little extra push. But here's how it turns out. It's not cut on the sides, but that's easily taken care of with some scissors. I'm gonna take my scissors, my EK Success Teflon little cutter scissors, and I'm just gonna snip and finish those lines. Once I got it cut out, I was looking at it, I wasn't real happy with the result. So I ended up cutting down the speech bubble. So it's a little wider, it's short and fat now. And I used a corner rounder. This is like the quarter, 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 corner rounder. Does that make sense? I don't know. And it's a little better. I'm not sure I love it, but it's going to work for its purposes today. Does this happen to anyone else's 1 8 inch double-sided adhesive? Every roll, every brand I get does the same thing. We need to solve this problem. This is a real issue. Hashtag first world problems. I'm using my 1 8 double-sided adhesive around the edges of this piece of acetate. This is going to be the glass to my window and I fold the card so that it closes properly. And I did have to put my bone folder and a little muscle into it, but I did end up make, making it obey me. I used my paper trimmer to cut off any wonky edges or sides, and that seemed to work well. At this point, I'm super excited about the way this card is turning out. I, I think it's gonna be fabulous. I grabbed some Scotch 3M foam tape I cut off a smaller kind of section of it and then I have like two separate widths. I use those widths all the time. So those are my two widths that I make from the Scotch 3M foam tape. And I use those on my images and on my sentiments to pop them Deal up. Deal with it. And at this point, I realized that you're gonna be able to see the adhesive behind the window. So while I'm dealing with it, uh, I, I guess we're gonna make a rainbow. So I pulled out the mud splatter stamp set. Okay, that's the one on the right. And a bunch of Distress Oxide inks. I've got a rainbow of color here. We're adding Candied Apple Distress Oxide, uh, Wild Honey Distress Oxide. We've got some Squeezed Lemonade, some Twisted Citron, and some salty ocean and a little wilted violet and we are stamping these down on a panel of 110 pound nina and i did this several times with each stamp that i did so i'm back to being excited i think we're going to revive this card so i grabbed the simon says stamp transparency for the misty and some tweezers and i'm not cleaning off this stamp every time so this is what my solution was so i peeled it off with the tweezers and placed it on using the transparency to pr protect my, my project. 
and then just went and inked it up again, okay? So that saves the residual ink that's already on my stamp and I don't have to clean it because I'm lazy. So I did this three times, okay? So we move it, have, a, I, I don't know, things look better in threes, right? So just to give a different way to illustrate it, I moved my stamp, protecting it with the transparency, and then I inked it up with my rainbow of colors in Distress, distress Oxide and stamped it down. And voila! Beauty in all of its glory, a rainbow of mud splatter. I really think it's cool. I really do. Like that, that is cool. That's cool. I am again using double-sided adhesive, this time in the uh, quarter inch variety. I'm not quite sure why I decided to do it this way and didn't just want to stamp directly on the card base, but this is what I did. So I lined it up inside of my card and again had to trim off some wonky excess. So now I've pulled out some Simon Says Stamp Fog cardstock and the Your Next Stamp Bold Alpha die set, and I've chosen to cut out the word sun with an exclamation point. That's because Foghorn Leghorn likes to say sun or bo. And so I'm using Lawn Fawn glue tube adhesive and some tweezers, which are putting marks on my, on my letters, by the way. Um, but it went with the ink splatter, so it's no big deal. And I'm using uh, the adhesive to adhere it down right in the center of my ink splattered rainbow. So yes, it still annoys me that you can see the adhesive, but I'm not changing it. I want to be able to see through the card and I could have cut out dies and hid the back, but Honestly, it just doesn't bother me bad enough to do that. So if it bothers you, you can easily hide those adhesives. Um, but I wanted to add something a little bit more. And I didn't feel well, so I was starting to fall asleep from the cough medicine. I ended up getting out Lawn Fawn's Milo's ABCs. This is like the smallest alphabet stamp set I believe I own. And I put I say, the phrase I say, on my acrylic block. So now my idea is to say, I say, I say, I say, son. Right? Like Foghorn Leghorn. So I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black to stamp the I says. And I'm going along and I'm, I'm doing pretty good using the VersaFine, which usually I get fingerprints everywhere. That's like the fingerprint ink. If they're not using that at the police station, they should be. Um, but oh, I'm, no. yeah, I screwed oh, it up. I did. I miss stamped it. And then I tried to fix it and made it worse. You'll see in the finished photos that I took a multi-liner <laughs> and went back over the I say. So I did clean it up a little bit. All in all, I really like how the card turned out. You could easily sign your name away down at the bottom there. I love it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, find me, find your next stamp on social media, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you for hanging out with me. Why are you filming me? Because it's time to take your medicine. But I turned the camera off for that. Why do I have to do it on camera? Because it's nice to show your son how grown up you can be. Not even looking. It's I'll play back home later. Bye. You just wanna make fun of my cough medicine face. I can't even laugh right now. Everything hurts so bad. Uh, so I want something to laugh at later. Ew. This is pretty bad. Oh! <laughs> I am not taking that last little bit. Oh, you can't make me. Ew, did you already, ew, did you already drink this? Yeah, and I can't taste anything, and I can already tell you it was bad. And that is brutal. Man, I think. Oh, that, it's not even worth it, I'll just die. I do really good with these, too. Uh, this, is, this is exceptionally Why good. did you have to get the liquid?
You wanted to torture me. I didn't. I just, I honestly, I always get Robitussin in a liquid. I always thought it was a liquid. I don't know if they made a pill. I don't even look for that. Can I have a mint cake? I need a cake. You know it's bad when you're using Red Bull to rinse out the Robitussin. And I will use four times set. I love you. <laughs> you should have gotten the pills.